everybody say hello. There's Sooty and Sweet and the Corsu and Little Cousin Champ. They'll be fun galore with the terrible horn. Just you wait and see. It's Sooty and Company. Sooty and Company. Yeah, phew, that's a job well done. It's taken me the best part of two hours to clean that cupboard out. I'll take these bags of rubbish down to the dustbin in a moment, but before I do, uh, excuse me. Sweep! Can you come here for a moment, please? Now! Mm -hmm. Look, never mind the hellos. I want to have a word with you. Can you just say hello to that lot first? Oh, go on then. I think I'll join you. Hello. Hello there. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, sweet, sweet. That's enough of that, because I want to talk to you about this rubbish. Yes, rubbish. I've just spent two hours tidying this cupboard out, and I want you and Sooty to deal with all the rubbish which is left over. But what do you mean this isn't rubbish? Of course it's rubbish. Look, bits of old building bricks, marbles, old pens, scraps of paper. It all needs throwing out. I've already filled two sacks full and I'm taking them down to the dustbin. I expect you to do the same. Well, what are you doing, Sweep? Sweep. What do you mean it isn't rubbish? It is rubbish. Look, leave that stuff alone, Sweep. Oh, for goodness sake, Sweep. Oh, it's always the same. I'd better go and have a word with Matthew. So it seems that Sue's having a bit of a spring clean, sorting out the rubbish. And it seems that Sweep isn't exactly helping. Not so sooty, though. He's got a load of old toys and things just lined up and ready to be thrown out. Er, uh, why are you throwing all this stuff away, sooty? Asks little cousin Scampy. Because it's rubbish says Sooty. Look, this old bucket here has got holes in it. These pens have gone dry. These paper clips have all got joined together. These books are full. And we've lost the handle for the feather duster. It's all rubbish. No, it's not, says little cousin Scampy. Look, this watering can will make an excellent drum kit. And we can use the old pens as drumsticks. Listen. You're right, says Sooty. Well, we won't throw those things away. And you can't throw the paper clips out either, says Scampy. They would make a terrific chain for you to pull me along on my skateboard. And as for the bucket, kneel down. You've heard of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Well, this bucket will make an excellent helmet so we can play at being knights. And we could use the paper from the books to make paper darts with. Good thinking, Scampy, says Sooty. Um, but what about this old feather duster here? Surely this is rubbish. But Scampy has different ideas. It's always the same, Matthew. I try my best and goodness knows I do try. I mean, I work my paws to the bone for you lot. Not that I expect any thanks. <laughs> that would be a fine thing. Oh, no, forget thanks. Anyway, I'm too busy for thanks. It's do this, Sue, do that, Sue. And the incredible thing is that Muggins here does it. Not because I want to do it. Oh, oh no. I've got better things to do than go running around after you lot, picking up your dirty socks and moving your empty coffee cups. Well, I've got some news for you, and that is that I'm not your slave. I mean, you lot obviously don't mind living in a pigsty, but I do, which is why I do my best to keep the place looking decent for you. You, oh. Not that any of you ever mm. notice. Oh, no, you're all far too important to notice. You don't seem to think that the boring things in life just happen. You never stop to think that someone's actually doing it. So what do you have to say about that, huh? What would you say, Matthew? Matthew! What? Oh, exactly, yes, exactly right, sir. I'm on your side, absolutely. Oh, yeah. never mind. I'm complaining that no one ever throws anything out in this house. We don't live in a junk shop, you know. Uh, well, Sue, I hate to slow the flow, but actually we do. I mean, we do live in a junk shop and we do sell junk. Oh, stop being so clever, Matthew. You know what I mean. We're supposed to be selling it, not keeping it. Look, I've just tried to get Sweet to throw a load of old junk out and he's actually collecting more. Will you have a word with him, please? Yeah, 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 I'll talk to him. Yeah, no, I mean it, Matthew. I mean, it's no good me getting cross and then you not backing me up. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him, I'll talk to him. I'll... Are you listening to what I'm saying, Matthew? Yes, yes, of course I'm listening to what you're saying, Sue. Oh, oh, I've got it! What? I've got 13 across. Constant complaining, wittering. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh. Wittering! Look at that! I've got it! Oh, hello, Scampy. What do you want? What's the matter with Sue? She's just got a bee in her bonnet about people throwing rubbish out. I hope that you and Sooty have thrown all that rubbish out in the loft, have you? Have you? What? There wasn't any rubbish. Of course there was rubbish! I mean, what about that old broken feather duster up there? That's rubbish. I mean, what can you possibly do with an old broken feather duster? Yeah. Hey, look at that. Big Chief. Give me a high five, Chief. High five. <laughs> oh, no one ever listens to me. Well, go ahead. If you want to live in a pigsty, carry on. Hey, 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 don't have a go at me, Sue. I mean, these three may not be very good at throwing things out, but do not tar me with the same brush. Why not? You're just as bad as they are. I beg your pardon, I am not. Of course you are, Matthew. You're a hoarder, a collector of rubbish. Sue, hmm? it is not me that collects rubbish, it's you that talks rubbish. Hmm. I mean, look, just name me one thing, one thing that I have got that is rubbish. Go on, I challenge... What? What about my cassette collection? <gasps> my cassette collection? What do you mean, this... this priceless collection of tapes? I have got a couple of early Kylie Minogue's and a classic Gary Glitter tape here. But your cassette player's broken. I know that, Sue, which is why I have moved on to... <gasps> CDs! <laughs> what? I haven't got a CD player. Whose side are you on, Big Chief Sitting Bull? I'm going to get a CD player one day. Yes, but until you do, all those things are rubbish. What? And there's more rubbish in the shop. There isn't. There is. There isn't. There is. There isn't. There is. Come on, I'll show you. All right. All right, all right. Come on then, Miss Smarty Pants. Come on, name me one thing that's here in Sooty and Co. that is rubbish. Take that off. Come on. Well, what, pray, is this? That? Mm. Oh, well, you see, that is my old cassette player, Sue. Without that, I couldn't play my priceless collection of cassettes. Mm. I do like Gary Glitter, don't you? But, Matthew, it doesn't work. There are no insides in it. I know that, Sue. That's why my cassettes are in such good condition. Because I hardly ever get to play them. <laughs> That's good. I that hardly ever get to... All right, enough, enough. Let's get serious. Come on, Sue, name me something else. Just point something else out that is rubbish. Here, in Sooty and Co. Go on. Would you mind emptying this sack out, then? No, not at all. Let's have a look. There. Now, go on. Oh, what's that? But that is off cuts of wood, Sue. I bought a load from a man yesterday. Hmm. Well, as they say, I rest my case, Your Honour. Bags and bags of rubbish. What? How dare you? I mean, how dare she? When it puts millions of uses for off cuts of wood. What? Name you three. What do you, what do you mean, name you three? We're going to do better than that. We are going to discover some uses for these offcuts of wood. Now, look, I want you each to take an equal amount. That's for you, Scampy. For you, Sweep. Now, Sooty, I want you to go to your bedroom, OK? Uh, Sweep, you can use the dining room. Scampy, you can use the loft. And I'll go into the backyard. Now, I've got a whistle in here somewhere. When I blow the whistle, we each have one minute to make something useful out of the wood. It's a bit like Krypton Factor, isn't it? Ready? Let's go. Come on. Come on. I bet it's a load of rubbish! And so here we have our little teddy bear from Manchester trying to score maximum points on this leg of the competition. It's making an interesting start. It's having a few problems with that triangle though. And here's our canine contestant, also from Manchester. Seems to be doing very well. He's ignoring the two-dimensional flat approach and going for the vertical elevation. Ah, now here's an interesting approach. Well, there's nothing to say that he can't use tools, so that's good thinking from little cousin Scampy, who originally hails from London, but moved up north with his family quite recently. Time, of course, is of the essence. The contestants have just one minute to make something useful from their bits of wood. I'm afraid that this contestant doesn't seem to be doing very well at all. Well, I must say that losing your temper is not the way forward. And that's it. The end of the round. 
Ah, all right then. My brains of Britain, my masterminds, my Krypton Factor champions. Show me what you've made. Prove to me that these silly bits of wood have any use whatsoever. All right, we will, we will, Sue. And don't be so cynical. Just you wait till you see what we've made. You're soon going to change your mind about what's rubbish and what isn't. Go on, Sue, bring up what you've made. Just wait until you see this, Sue. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. That is fantastic. Uh, what is it? Matchbox holder? Is it? Oh, yes, look. Look at that. You can just see a little matchbox just popping out there. That is very clever. It's useful, that not it, Sue? Fantastic. Hmm? Hey, come on, sweet. What have you made? What, what have you made? Let's have a look and see where you Oh. A bone holder. Look at that little bone sticking out there. Now, that's useful, isn't it, Sue? Oh, hmm? saints preserve us. Yeah, come, come on, Scampy. Now, don't let us down. So she's made the matchbox holder. Sweep's made a bone holder. What have you made? Come on, let's see. What? Brilliant! What is it? Hmm? What is it? A bone holder holder? What do you mean a bone... Let's have a look, see what... Oh, look at that! It's a bone holder holder! That, that is useful, isn't it, Sue? Hmm? Oh, good is not the word to describe it, I Matthew. agree, I agree. So come on, come on, let's see how you've managed to turn a few scraps of wood into a useful object. What, me? Mm. Um, well, actually, I, 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 I sort of ran out of time, so I didn't actually make an object, but what, what, what I did make was uh, a modern work of art. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, what do you think, Sue? Rubbish. They're all rubbish. Rubbish? Yes. Rubbish? Yes. Rubbish? Yes. She's right, boys. They are rubbish. Go on. Take them where they belong. To the tip. You win, Sue. You know, there's an old saying that goes, when you find yourself in a hole, stop digging. Which means that when it comes down to it, we all have to confess that Sue's right. Those bits of wood are fit for nothing but the rubbish tip. The thing is, says Sooty to Sweep, it's an awful long way to drive to the tip, isn't it? Sweep has to agree. Which is why, says Sooty, I have a plan. If we throw the wood into the stream, says Sooty, the stream will carry it under the bridge just like playing poo sticks. Then it'll go down into the river, then right out to sea. That way it won't bother anybody. OK, says Sweep, let's do it. Sweet. I think you dropped these things in the water by mistake, so I've brought them back for you. I'll put them in your trailer. Be more careful with them next time or you'll lose them. So here they are with the wood back on board. But Sooty has yet another idea. Let's just sling the stuff here, says Sooty. We can't do that, says Sweet. That'll be like throwing litter. No, it won't, says Sooty. We're in a wood, and we're throwing wood. It's the same. There's already loads of branches and things on the ground. What difference will a little bit more wood make? So they decide to give the wood the old heave-ho. Oh, <laughs> 
Well, that was a waste of time, says Sooty. We might as well have been throwing boomerangs. Every single time we threw something, that dozy dog brought it straight back. Well, I thought it was a very clever dog, says Sweep. Ha! Huh. Well, you are a dog, so you would, says Sooty. Still, now there's only one thing for it. What's that? Sweet wants to know. The tip. Well, here we are, says Sooty. And do you know something? Sue was right. These things are rubbish. Let's sling them. In fact, I can't imagine how anyone could think of one single useful thing to do with any of this stuff. It's just a load of rubbish. Yes, I know, Sushi, I know. Sometimes it's very hard to admit that you were wrong and somebody else was right. But in this case, we've just got to admit it. I mean, Sue is right. That stuff was rubbish. Mm. And it's ended up in the right place at the tip. Hooey! On your meat, Mo Frank Market. Mm. Oh, hello, Mo. Uh, Mo, I hope you haven't come in here hoping to buy any rubbish because we are fresh out of rubbish, aren't we? Mm. Nay, nay, I've not come to buy now. I have come to sell you some it. Really? Hey, now, Luke. What? What are... These. These? Well, uh, I'm not too sure. What? So she says, are they toothpicks? Correct. What a shrewd little bear you are. <laughs> now, there are 200 toothpicks here, right? Cost yes. one pound. Yes. So for five pounds, you could buy 1,000 toothpicks, right? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I am in the position to offer to you for the same price as you would pay for 1,000 toothpicks. That's five pounds, yes. right? <laughs> not 1,000, but one million. <laughs> one million toothpicks for five pounds? <laughs> Listen, don't go shouting about it. Why? I'm doing you special, because I know you. And listen, listen, you haven't heard the best bit yet. Not only is this product of the highest quality, yes. but also it has novelty value. <laughs> Shh! Novelty value sweep. You see, these here toothpicks are do-it-yourself toothpicks. None of your factory-produced stuff. No, these are all handcrafted individually. Just, just a minute. Let me just get this straight. You mean you are going to sell us one million DIY toothpicks for five pounds? Four pound fifty, my best offer. Four pound fifty? Oh, quit and don't tell no one. Right, what do you think, boys? Yes? Okay. <coughs> Mo, you are on. Cop for that lot. And Four pounds. You cop for this lot. What? I'm afraid you'll have to supply your own knife. Oh, God, you wouldn't believe some of the things that people throw on the tip these days. There you are, love. One million do-it-yourself toothpicks. But, but, Carve them yourself. Happy whittling. But, 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 no! Oh, 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 oh no! Hm. Fancy falling for that. One million DIY toothpicks. <laughs> Did we buy a load of rubbish? Uh, if you'll permit me, Matthew, I'll answer that in one word. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Will you tell her or shall I? Tell me what? Well, actually, Sue, you may have been right about most things today, but mm -hmm. not about the toothpicks, because we did, in fact, find a very good use for the DIY toothpicks, didn't we, boys? What, what possible use could you find for a load of old scrap wood from the rubbish tip? Well, I'll give you a clue. Sweep, throw another couple of thousand toothpicks on the fire, would you please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Silly me, firewood. <laughs> yes. Well done, Matthew. <laughs> I tell you what, let's all say goodbye, and then I'll read you a nice story. So, uh, bye, 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 everybody. Bye, bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> and this story is called Woodland Tales. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it.